Question 40. NASA's space shuttle program was active from 1981 until 2011. The photograph shows a rocket carrying a space shuttle off the launch pad. Okay, first of all, before we do anything, let's think about what's going on here. We know that the thrust of the gases is pushing against the ground, and with that being said, it is propelling the rocket back into space. So if you look here, we have arrows that are equal and opposite. So as the thrust comes out, the gases that are pushing against the ground help propel the rocket upward, okay? So if we know about Newton's laws, Newton's laws of motion, this would probably be Newton's third law, okay? Because we're looking at an action reaction pair. Remember what Newton's third law says? It says that for every action you get an equal and opposite opposite reaction. So with that being said, we know that Newton's laws are in effect here. So let's uh, now look at the question and see what they want from us. It says, how can Newton's law of uh -huh, action-reaction be best applied to explain the movement of the rocket? So we want to explain how this is happening. Well, as the fuel burns, the rocket moves faster. Uh, well, it's got a lift off first. As the fuel burns, gases push against the rocket, moving it upward. As the thrust of the engine comes out and the gases push against the ground, it does move the plane upward, or excuse me, the space shuttle upward. So that's a possible. As the fuel burns, gases move out of the rocket and reduce air resistance. Well, that's not what's making our rocket go up. As the fuel burns, the mass of the rocket decreases. That cannot be because the mass will never decrease. The mass is what it is. So we're going to go with best choice here is answer choice G.